Hi from the outdoor demo of the Interbike Trade Show in Boulder City, Nevada. I'm John Stevenson with BikeRadar.com and I'm on the A-Cross stand talking to Marius Reedy about a new hydraulic shifting system for mountain bikes. Marius, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I would love to show you our hydraulic sh shifting system called H. It's ridiculously light. Uh, it's 175 grams lighter than XTR, more than 200 grams lighter than XO and it works hydraulically in both directions. And as you can see it on that bike here, we have a system of two shifters, front derailleur, rear derailleur, and all the lines. The shifting is so incredibly light. You shift with less effort than you're used to because of the hydraulic power. To give you an idea how it works, I would like to show you um, the front derailleur in here which has just one lever and you do shifting in one direction by pushing at the upper area and you tilt the pedal and you change shifting direction to change gears in the other direction. So one lever does the work. It's a really unusual interface. Um, do people struggle to get used to it? Everyone's so used to you know, a pair of levers. We have the people go out on demo bikes here and they say, wow, I figured it out immediately. And they're amazed by the really high precision of the, the shifting. You just touch it once and the gear just hits the cock exactly where you want it to be. All the buzzing road bikes at the moment is Shimano's electronic shifting system. It seems inevitable to everybody that there's an XTR Di2 a year or two down the track. How do you think you're going to do against the, the might of um, Shimano's electronic system when that comes to mountain bikes? Well, in our opinion, um, Electric is a little bit difficult on having it on mountain bikes. Um, dealers are not well trained at uh, electronics, but they're so super used in uh, working on hydraulic disc brakes. And working on the shifting system is exactly the same as working on a hydraulic disc brake system. So that was our thought to have a system which the market is already well trained on. Now, as, a, as a, somebody who's a bit of a gear weenie, I've been geeking out on all the incredibly intricate machining here and all the little bolts and the way um, every single part is replaceable. But that's got to come expensive. What's the whole system cost? The whole system runs for 1,999 uh, US dollars. But um, you have a lot of weight gainers and you have to be aware that you don't have to change your cables anymore. So once this set, uh, system is set up, you never touch it again. So that is also making the investment relative. You, um, you are very flexible on the system. You can easily change it from 8-speed to 9-speed up to 10-speed by just changing one piston um, without changing anything else. So that gives you a lot of flexibility. And are you, are you, you must be planning a cheaper system though. 2,000 US dollars is a heck of a lot of money for a pair of derailers and a pair of shifters. It is. We, kn we know it's a lot of money, but in this version to gain uh, so much weight, every single piece is CNC made in Germany. And yes, of course, we are already working on a other version with maybe injection molding parts, foraging and stuff like that to, to lower the price. And that's definitely the goal. That's really exciting, Marius. Thanks very much for showing us the system. Thank you for having the opportunity to bring it to bikeradar.com. Thank you. I'm John Stevenson with BikeRadar.com. That was a new hydraulic shifting system from Across. I'm at the Interbike Trade Show in Boulder City, Nevada. We'll be back over the next few days with more new stuff from uh, Interbike, both out here in the outdoor demo and indoor in Las Vegas at the indoor show.